Hi everyone, I'm glad you're here. Thank you very much for joining me. With 60% of the bees dying off from viruses, um, pests, and the lack of food, this might be some good news to help keep the bee population alive. Scientists have created what they call a power bar that will probably be produced and sold um, next year, 2026. For the first time, scientists have developed a fully synthetic food source capable of sustaining honeybee colonies long-term in the absence of their natural diet. The breakthrough is a result of a decades-long collaboration between researchers and Washington State University and APEC um, Bioscience in Belgium. This innovation could change the way honeybees are managed, said Dr. Patrick Pilkington of APAC Bioscience. Until this study, honeybees were the only livestock that could not be maintained on a man-made feed. The new feed, a dense, nutrient-rich patty that resembles what they call a power ball, is placed directly into the hive. It contains a blend of nutrients, certain sterols, vitamins, and proteins designed to mimic what the bees normally collect from flowers. The key ingredient is isopulcosterol, a plant steroid that until now had been overlooked in bee nutrition. To test their food, researchers ran two large-scale experiments. The first was in a controlled environment where colonies had no access to natural food sources. The second took place during a harsh commercial pollination cycle of blueberries and sunflowers, two crops notorious for poor pollen quality. In both trials, colonies fed with a new complete diet thrived, whereas those fed with the standard commercial diets or no supplements at all struggled and even collapsed entirely. Surprisingly, researchers found that a single component, isofucosterol, made all the difference. Colonies deprived of this sterol suffered reduction, larva production, and neurological impairment. Some bees showed signs of paralysis and could barely walk, the study reported. For beekeepers, the implications are immediate. Pollinating blueberry fields, for instance, is a notoriously punishing assignment for bees. Some beekeepers don't pollinate blueberries anymore because colonies suffer or die and the pollination fees don't cover the losses. Colony mortality in the U.S. remains uh, very high. Surveys report losses rates around 60% in recent years. Habitat destruction, climate extremes, and pesticides all play a role, but nutrition is a major stressor. APIC, um, APIX, and WSU are now preparing the product for a U.S. launch expected in 2026. Pilkington said, we are working with WSU and the beekeeper community across the U.S. to develop the best way to make use of this new tool in agricultural settings. Yeah, really cool if it helps with the bee population. So what are your thoughts? Put your comments down below. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, thumbs up my videos. It will help with the ranking. YouTube hasn't been sending out notifications. A lot of people have told me. Maybe that will help. So please thumbs up and I'll talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.